Hello everyone. As many of you would have started preparing for your SSC board examinations 2020, this is the right time for you to get familiarized with the paper pattern of the new syllabus. If you know the paper pattern and the type of questions that you are expected to attempt, it would give you an upper edge over the others and help you score better. In the last year, the syllabus of SSC had been revised and the questions and the paper pattern had been changed. This resulted in confusion and many of the students were unaware of the type of questions that they would be attempting. However, you have no excuses this year. So in this video, let me help you prepare for your paper and help you score better. The paper pattern of Science and Technology Part 2 is of 40 marks and would be for two hours. There will be separate question papers as you know for both part 1 and part 2 containing 40 marks each and would, you would be required to attempt this in two hours each. Let us go to the question wise breakup of the marks. In the first question, the part A would contain five questions that are of objective type for one mark each giving you a total of five marks. Part B would be five questions of MCQ types which would be based on your practicals and projects again which would help you score five marks. The second question would be of two marks each you would be given seven questions out of which you are required to attempt five questions. This would help you score 10 marks. The third question is again a set of seven questions carrying three marks each out of which you are expected to solve five, giving you a total of 15 marks. Question number four are your long answers, which would be for five marks. You would also have one option so this would carry five marks. Let us focus on each question type. In the first question, you would have different types of objective questions. You, could, you would have fill in the blanks, find the odd one out, find out the correlation, make pairs, right or wrong, give name, Answer in one sentence. Find out the difference between two components. Questions based on figure and picture. And complete the flowchart. Out of this, you would be familiar with around seven types of the questions. But there are new questions that have been introduced in the past year. So let us focus on these new type of questions. You would also be happy to know that our book contains all the old type of questions as well as the new questions that are covered entirely in our target notes. Focusing on the new type of question, let us first focus on find out the difference between. As you can see in this question, you are expected to find the difference between two components. In this case, between the body level and cellular level of respiration. The other type of question for one mark this year could also carry questions based on figures or pictures. As in this case, you can see that you are expected to observe the diagram and identify any one label. Even such kinds of questions can be asked for one mark in your this year's paper. Another type of question that could appear for one mark is complete the given chart or flowchart. In this case, you could see that there are two blanks which you need to fill in order to complete the flowchart. Let us go to 1B in which you are expected to solve MCQs. If you can focus on this section, you would see that our book contains practical based MCQs as well as project based MCQs for better practice. So you can study from these notes and score maximum marks. The second question is for two marks each. And the different types of questions that you would come across are write notes, clarify the difference that is distinguished between, give scientific reasons, give examples in which you would be required to give any four examples for two marks, write properties and characteristics or advantages and effects, 
complete the flowchart and table. Out of this, I'm pretty sure that you must be knowing most of the types. However, there is one type that is complete the flowchart or table, which must be new to you. All of these types are covered in target notes. Let us focus on complete the flowchart and table. If you could focus on this question, you would see that a flowchart is given to you in which there are blanks. Now for two marks, we could expect that there would be four blanks, which you need to solve. Focusing on question number three, these are questions for three marks each. The different question types would include give explanation using a given sentence in which you would be given a sentence and asked to elaborate on it. Second is suggest remedies and measures. It could be of various diseases, symptoms. How can you take remedial measures for a particular disaster? The third is explain with the help of examples in which you are expected to give examples to explain your answer better. The fourth one is write answers with explanation. Fifth is complete the flowchart and table. Six are questions based on diagram. Seven, complete the paragraph. Out of this, you are familiar with four types of questions, so we would move on to focusing on the three types which are new to you. In questions based on diagrams, which would be asked for three marks, you would see that a diagram is given to you and three questions for one mark each are asked to you, which you could attempt in one sentence. The second type of question is complete the table or chart, in which a chart would be given with blanks which you need to fill with the appropriate answers. Another new type of question that you would see is complete the paragraph, in which a paragraph from your textbook could be given to you in the examination with blanks. This paragraph could fetch you three marks. Focusing on question number four, which is for five marks, the type of questions that you could come across are draw a figure and give explanation, Answer the question in detail in which you would be expected to elaborate in detail the answer. Correct the given diagram and explain. Classify with detailed explanation. Read the given paragraph and answer the questions based on it. Complete the given table and chart and give explanation. Make a concept diagram and give explanation. Out of this, I think you would be familiar with around two types of questions that are draw, figure and give explanation, which is usually asked in your examination and also to answer the question in detail. But what about the rest of the types? Let me help you with that. The first type that would be new to you is correct the diagram and explain. As you can see that the diagram given over here is incorrectly labeled. In this case, you would be asked to correctly label the diagram and explain it in details, which would fetch you five marks. The second type of question is classify and explain, in which here, in this case, you are asked to classify and explain the characteristics of petromyzone. As you can see, classification itself would fetch you certain marks, and again, this could score you five marks. Hence, study classify and explanation very well. This is another type of example in which some of these questions could be asked to you in your exam. The next type is questions based on paragraph, in which a paragraph would be given to you and questions based on it would be asked. Here we could expect questions of one mark each, again scoring five marks, or certain questions of two marks also. You could score a total of five marks in this question. The next type of question is complete the chart or table. As you can see again, over here, you are expected to complete this chart, but also because this question is for five marks, you would be expected to explain it in detail. As you can see, after completing the chart, we have also provided the explanation to it. You would also come across a totally new type of question, which is draw a concept map and explain it in detail. In this case, as you could see, it is from disaster management in which we have provided you with a concept map and also a detailed explanation which would fetch you five marks. We also help you build powerful concepts with target. 
to build powerful concepts. In our book, we have included sections like reading between the lines in which certain information is elaborated to give you a better understanding of what you are actually attempting in your examination. You do not need to include these points in your answer, but it would help you understand the answer much better and simplify. Our book is also filled with a section good to know in which real life examples are given with relation to the concepts in your own textbook. As you can see over here, we have given some fun facts that can help you relate what actually happens in nature with what you are actually studying in your textbook. We have provided ample amount of QR codes and videos and answers to your activity-based questions to help you be well prepared, even in case you are asked any questions based on these. As you can see, our activity-based questions, try this, also contains an answer and a QR code for your better understanding. If you could scan these QR codes with your smartphone, you would find a link which would take you to our website where you could watch a video and get a better understanding on how you could perform this activity or what would be the answer to the question you've given in the activity. To test your understanding after you have finished your preparation for your SSC board, we have model question papers at the end of the book in which you would find that the paper is exactly as the format prescribed by the board in which you have your first A question which is answer the following in which you would have five objective type questions, one B in which you would have choose the correct alternative based on your practicals and projects, question two in which you would have answer the following in which you would have to attempt any five out of seven for two marks each, question three in which you would have to attempt five out of seven for three marks. And question four, in which you would have to attempt one out of two for five marks. We have also included the recent board paper of SSC 2019 at the end of our book in order to give you a better understanding of what you must prepare for. Thank you for watching this video.